Hello everyone, uh, Dan Calloway here, and today um, I want to show you uh, a new distro that I'm working with right now as a VM. I've already also got it installed on my laptop, and it's called MX18 Continuum Linux. Uh, very nice distro, by the way, very responsive. I believe I have 8 gigs of RAM uh, allocated to this particular VM, um, but with four gigs or even two, this thing is very responsive. Um, I've got a little conky out here that shows various information about the CPU status and uh, the uh, wired connection status. Uh, a monitor here that shows the various applications that are like the top 10 applications that are running here with their PIDs and the CPU usage. It's a very nice distro. Got a background set up here, so let's get into it. I just want to show you around, show you what it what uh, what it looks like from the get go. Here, I've got the taskbar uh, at the bottom. Uh, when you first start it up, it, it comes up on the left. I don't like that, so you can go in and set that up to the bottom, which I have done. I have four workstations set up here. Um, I also have uh, the file manager, uh, which is uh, I believe Kaja, the file manager that's set up here, uh, could be Nomax. I believe it is. It is Nomax. And uh, so if I do a help here and about, it'll tell us. You no, know, it's Thunar. It's Thunar 1.6.15. Uh, very nice uh, file manager as well. I do prefer PC ManFM for those who know me and follow me on my. Uh, YouTube channel, which is uh, Linux Tech Channel, Linux Unix Tech Channel. All right, let me go ahead and close that. Um, all right, so let me go ahead and close this and get back to the desktop. Um, you've got some various buttons across here, which you've got eight updates that are available. Here are the um, uh, hover over it here. This is the wired connection. Uh, this is the um, master uh, you know got it up set too high here uh, the master volume um, and then the computer itself and then unmounting the entire system if I want to do that uh, if I click on the menu here and go up to accessories you can see we've got application finder archive manager bulk rename catfish file search clip it conky manager which if I Click that, it takes you in here, and I'm currently set up to this particular MX Geeky Tower logo, which is what this is. If I uncheck it, it will disappear. And I've got others I could choose, but I want to put that one back. I, I like that one. All right, so that's the Conky Manager. If I come back under Accessories, we also have the Conky Toggle, which if I click that, will make that disappear temporarily. Feather Pad which is a lightweight QT5 text editor. Calculator, um, if I click that, uh, it's called Gaculator. Uh, and you can set it for other modes besides uh, the one that you currently see, which is basic. <coughs> and um, all right, so under accessories, uh, finally we have uh, Lucky Backup, which is a backup utility. Midnight Commander Editor for editing text files. Got MX Clocky Desktop Clock. I don't have that set up right now. Uh, MX iDevice Mounter. Uh, MX Updater Notes, which is uh, just for quick notes on the on the desktop to remind you of various things. Uh, onboard Settings, uh, Orage, uh, Global Time, uh, Passwords and Keys. Okay. Under development, we've got the uh, Geary, which is a lightweight IDE for KDE+. Under games, you've got various ones here. Uh, Isle, uh, Riot, Solitaire, Hearts, Mahjong, Steam, which I installed. It does not come out of the box. I install that via the terminal. And then uh, Swell Poop. Uh, I do have a game in Steam that I've downloaded and I bought. It's called... Uh, Euro uh, Trucker 2 uh, simulator, which is very nice. Uh, graphics, you've got uh, the GIMP, which is the GNU Image Manipulation Program. Uh, LibreOffice Draw. Uh, Nomax, which is an image viewer. That's what I was thinking of when I 
mentioned that earlier. Simple Scan, which is a scanner application. Uh, Internet, you've got FileZilla, which I installed, does not come out of the box. Uh, very easy to install. I use Synaptics to do that. Firefox web browser, uh, GNOME FTP file transfer protocol client, which I installed in Synaptic as well. You've got the GNOME PPP, which is your dial-up tool, which is your point-to-point -point protocol uh, tool. HexChat, which is an uh, interactive uh, online chat program. There's Steam again. Thunderbird, which is a mail client. And then Transmission, which is your uh, BitTorrent client as well. All right, Multimedia, you've got a bunch here. Clementine, Dragon Player, uh, G Radio, OBS, which I like. Uh, which is the open source streaming software, broadcast software. Uh, VLC Media Player, Voco Screen, which is for capturing the screen and um, recording on the screen. MX Tools here, you've got a bunch. You've got the Live US B Kernel Updater, uh, MX Boot Options, uh, MX Boot Repair, MX Cleanup, MX Codex Installer. MX Conky, MX uh, Fix GPG Keys, uh, Live USB Maker for making live bootable USBs built into the operating system here, and a bunch of other things. Under Office, uh, you've got Dictionary, you've got an ebook reader, you got the full LibreOffice suite, although I prefer WPS or uh, TextMaker, uh, which is SoftMaker software, uh, or even uh, only Office to the LibreOffice. I don't really care for LibreOffice. Um, PDF Shuffler uh, and uh, QPDF Viewer. Okay. Under Settings, you've got About Me, Accessibility, Adobe Flash Player, Appearance, Bluetooth Adapters, a Bluetooth Manager, uh, Desktop, Display, File Manager, firewall, firewall Configuration, and Gparted. If you go into Desktop here, you can see that you can change your backgrounds here. I've got a bunch of backgrounds that you can utilize. I've chosen the one that I have and I want to keep it. Um, but you can select one of these and it'll change your background for you just like any other Linux distro. Um, you can do use a solid color or you can get one from the you know folder or file and uh, you can even go out on the web and get others if you want. All right, and so let me close that. And so if I right click on the desktop here and select open terminal here, it brings up the terminal. Let me bring that up to full screen. And let me expand the text so we can see what we're doing. I want to do a uname dash A, uh, and that shows you the uh, that we're running Linux and the fully qualified domain name of this computer uh, VM is MX dash data dash VM. Uh, we're using the 4.19.0-1-AMD64 kernel. I do have a 64-bit system here. It is based on Debian. Uh, very nice. Uh, if we do a DF, ah, get my typing here. H for human readable. You can see that this is the file system that we're running uh, and the breakdown of the disk itself. I'm not sure if fdisk is uh, available or not. The SDA, uh, it is. It is not available. Yes, it is available. Welcome to FDisk. Um, FDisk cannot open. Yeah, I didn't give it pseudo privileges. And the password in. Okay, so we're in FDisk now. And if I do a M for uh, looking at the commands that are available, the one that prints what's uh, currently the breakdown of the, uh, the disk itself. If I do a P, it gives you the breakdown here. Um, and I just allocated, other than the boot sector, or boot uh, device, which is SDA1, boot partition, uh, which is ID83 Linux, uh, 73 gigabytes in size, and then two gigabytes here uh, for the remainder, okay? So let me do a uh, quit. And let me uh, exit here and get out of it. All right, and see what else we got. Uh, under settings, 
Under system, you've got uh, ADSL PPPoE, which is the asynchronous um, digital um, subscriber line service, which is a telephone line, point-to-point -point protocol over Ethernet configuration. Um, the Conky toggle, the command line apt-based package, the deconf editor, you've got the disk manager, click on that, brings up, I need to put in the password for root, and it brings up the uh, application for managing the disk itself, the VM here, all right, which is um, 71.3 gigabytes total. All right, and so let's go back under system and the disk usage analyzer. You've got the GDEB package installer for installing uh, DEB uh, binaries. Um, Gparted again, HTOP, and so let's click on HTOP. Let me bring that up to full screen. And so this is HTOP. You can also access that by just typing HTOP from the terminal. But you can see that we're only running 370 megs out of uh, 8 gigs of allocated uh, RAM, which is very nice. CPU is barely working here, only 2.7% down to 1.4%. It's a dual core i3, 7th uh, generation, which is equivalent to an i5 uh, for, the, for all ten, intents and purposes. And so you've got 112 tasks, 187 threads, one running. Uh, load averages are very nice for 5 minutes, uh, 15 minutes, and uh, 30 minutes. Anything under 2 would be wonderful here, uh, but you can see it's very low. Uptime is only 13 minutes. So let me do an F10 to get out of it. Close this window. And uh, so we've got things out on the desktop here as well. I'm not going to show you Steam because everybody knows pretty much what Steam is. Um, if I click the logout button here, it brings up uh, logout. Uh, Data Pioneer is the user. If I do a logout, it will log me out. I can do a restart here or suspend the system. I'm just going to go ahead and do a shutdown and shut down the system. But this has been MX18 Continuum. Uh, very nice Linux distro. I highly recommend you go up to SourceForge and download. Just type in MX-18 uh, in SourceForge search and you'll be able to find it. So thanks for watching. Have a nice day.